Morning, everybody. Um, as Mike said, welcome to the 2015 AMP Plus Alliance Symposium. Um, this year, as Mike had also mentioned, this is our eighth, eighth event, uh, eighth annual event. And it uh, looks like the weather this year is going to be fantastic. One of the best uh, years that we've had, um, I guess, over the last eight years. Um, this year, uh, we're pleased to welcome not only the Ant Plus uh, Alliance members, but also for the very first time, uh, the Ant Alliance adopters uh, to the symposium. Uh, as in prior years, many of our attendees are from all over the world. And uh, they span the sport, fitness, and uh, commercial market spaces. So expand your possibilities with Ant. That's the theme of this year's con conference or symposium. It's a perspective, a perspective that asks us to consider not only those existing opportunities that we know about, but also those that we may not even know that we collectively know about. It's a, a state of mind, uh, a view that with the use of Ant, we might actually be able to come up with new possibilities, new solutions that will, will help drive our business further. And it's a call to business that with an open mind, using Ant can actually drive our mutual business further and with greater success. So the symposium is all about expanding your connections, expanding your connections into the AMP Plus ecosystem. You can do this with new connections to new partners, through renewing connections with existing partners. And as you can see from this slide, there's a number of new and uh, repeat companies that have come to the symposium this year. Expanding your connections also transfers to uh, participating with interoperability platforms like that established with the release of the AMP Plus FEC profile. Or perhaps interoperability platforms like Garmin's Connect IQ that was released and announced one year ago today uh, at the symposium last year and is now focused on connectivity between uh, Connect IQ platforms and sensor platforms making use of the Ant wireless technology. Other interoperability platforms that you can also engage with are platforms from companies like North Pole Engineering and their WASP bridge products. Interoperability API platforms from companies like Wahoo Fitness, Recon Instruments. And at Symposium, we're all about expanding the opportunities with the reach of AMP Plus, or expanding your opportunities with the reach of AMP Plus. So basically, taking what we have already and making the bigger pie. What that means is developing new use cases with current profiles to, to, to increase product sales within your product set. It's about recognizing and taking advantage of the fact that AMP Plus and AMP Networks can actually coexist concurrently and drive proprietary value to your products through the Ant network. And it's also about recognizing that high node count capabilities or connections are possible with, within the Ant Plus ecosystem and Ant Plus environment through the use of the multi-protocol or multi-protocol, multi-node count, high node count topologies that are already built into the Ant, Ant protocol. Expanding awareness of Ant and Ant Plus is important not only for you and your products, but also for the growth and success of the Ant and Ant Plus ecosystem. We generate that awareness through participation in trade shows, where we actively encourage participation of our Ant Plus Alliance members at shows like CES, Mobile World Congress, Interbike, and for the very first time this, this past year at the Solid Conference, which is a trade show that promotes technologies of the Internet of Things. We're also working to expand AMP Plus awareness through product publicity, where we're working with product manufacturers like yourselves, product brands like yourselves, as, as well as our PR agency, to highlight new and innovative products 
through news releases and other media channels. We're also taking advantage of the AMP Plus directory and AMP certification programs to highlight the growth of the AMP and AMP Plus ecosystem with new products listed on the directory that have been officially certified by our AMP Plus team. We've also been taking advantage of all of those initiatives to grow the Ant and Ant Plus awareness to the point where we now are seeing over 640 Ant Plus certified products that are commercially available in the marketplace today. This year, we're at just a little over 120 Ant Plus certification submissions. And some of the more important nodes are, notes here are that from an installed Ant base, we're well over 240 million units. 180 million of those are Ant smartphones. So uh, since its inception in 2012, uh, the Ant Plus certification program has seen this growth in submissions uh, by year. So from 2012, there was uh, 55, moving up through 160 in 2014. And if all things continue on the trajectory that it is, we'll see a 50% increase over that in 2015. We're also expanding the reach of Ant technology through protocol soft devices like that, that which will be deployed on the NRF52. The NRF52 program continues the Nordic and Ant wireless partnership to continue to deliver the solution that's best suited for the customer application. As a result of that partnership, the NRF52 stacks that will be made available, and we'll be talking about those later on today, will be deploying an ant only stack as well as a combination ant BLE, full BLE uh, protocol stack that will provide complementary value to the customers to be able and allow them to choose the best solution or the best protocol stack for their end application. We're also expanding the reach of Ant technology in terms of support for high node count applications. Over the past year, year plus, we've been seeing growing market interest in the use of Ant for high node count, uh, in the high node count application space. Many of these applications are low power fo in focus um, battery, fo battery driven, but many of them are also mains powered focus. We're supporting that application set through the use of three of our existing topologies that are built into the Ant protocol, as well as an approach that has been in place uh, for the past 10 years as well. That being the continuous scan topology, the shared channel topology, and one of our newer approaches uh, the scan and forward high node count uh, approach. Over the last year, I guess earlier this year as well, um, and if many of you were at, at the high node count seminar uh, yesterday, you would, you would have seen a preview of the self-forming and self-healing network topology that we're, we're now uh, taking a look at. This type of mesh style self-healing and self-forming network uh, we'll find applications in the commercial high note count space for applications like warehouse control lighting, environmental lighting and control, as well as uh, very high note count asset tracking, uh, in particular mobile assets like livestock. <laughs> I didn't want to put people there. Um, so really, uh, this brief opening, opening remarks or opening session of remarks is to talk about what Symposium is all about. So this is the AMP Plus Symposium. It's all about collaboration, collaboration with, collaboration with the parties that are here to drive additional business. It's all about interoperability, making sure that everything that we do continues to be interoperable with all of the other products that are out there. It continues along with innovation, innovation that's taking advantage of the ant technologies that are here and available from our team and from the, pro the products that are making use of those technologies. And it's all about driving growth. Driving growth for your business and driving growth for the mutual benefit of the Amplus ecosystem. 
So over the next few days, there's a number of workshops, a number of sessions that, that you'll be able to take advantage of. Please do find, find us, find the ANT team, explore new opportunities, and really, let's have a great symposium. Thank you.